As you have sort of listened to all of this with Kyrie and you heard what he said yesterday, what's your reaction? It's hilarious. He's wearing the Uncle Drew hat. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't want to be in the spotlight. Oh, by the way, did you see my movie? <laughs> I mean, come on. Now. It is what it is. I mean, you're Kyrie Irving, all right? You're one of the best players in the NBA. It comes with it. Now, everyone's losing their mind because the Celtics beat the Golden State yesterday. And that sounds great. That's a small sample size. Mm. That was a game that, quite honestly, the Celtics had to show up. It doesn't solve their problems. It just says in this moment in time, when you're making a ton of shots, Jalen, the game's easy, everyone's happy. And I'll, That's all it means. Uh, and I agree with you. I'll speak to the quote, the business part is what makes it terrible for me. So what ends up happening as an athlete to pull people behind the curtain, you don't have to spend that much time talking to the media. They're not at your front door asking you about your personal life. You literally have to talk to them before and after practice for 10 minutes of your day. They're not, it, it's not really that difficult. And so to your point, you can't say you don't like the business part of it when you sell an Uncle Drew hat to the public, <laughs> or you can't say you don't like talking to the media, but yet when it's time to sell a product, mm. where are you gonna go? To do interviews, to sell it to the media. So he's just trying to figure a way, to, I guess, to iron yeah. Yeah. Juggling both. The more I think about it, Greeny, in the middle of International Women's History Month and all those things, I feel like it's a little bit of a disrespectful jab at the WNBA. They love playing the game, too. They don't get covered in the same ways. I want to play the world's smallest violin for Kyrie and any other player that thinks dealing with the media is a problem. Commissioners of the WNBA, all the players, they're trying to figure out how to get media to love the game and to watch the game. And you're sitting here saying it's really difficult to answer questions because people are interested in the game that you play. I just think it's disrespectful now. I totally understand, <coughs> excuse me, I understand what all of you are saying. Mm -hmm. And we had this conversation to some degree yesterday. Is there anything to be said for the fact that, look, life sometimes can be difficult. There is a lot of pressure. The fit is obviously not working in Boston. The expectations are not being met. While I'm not trying to say I feel yeah. sorry for him or asking anyone else to, I understand where at some point he's kind of having a rough time. He's having a rough time, but you know, he, he decided to go to Boston. He made that big announcement. This is where I want to be. I'm going to sign with the Celtics, and I'm going to sign a long-term deal. You make those type of statements, and then you can't act. Like, he wants to be a leader. Like, you know, he wants to be LeBron. Well, he's turned into LeBron but, because to get someone to follow you, yeah. all right, you've got to have likability and you've got to be inclusive. E expand right on now, that he's thought. What do you mean inclusive. he's turned into LeBron? What does that because mean? Because it's always someone else's fault. When they weren't playing well, mm. he never looked in the mirror and said, you know what, I'm not guarding, I'm not distributing, I'm not being inclusive. Those guys went to the finals last year without him. They think they're pretty good. All of a sudden, he comes back, they hit a road bump, and you know what? He's got to look in the mirror and say, what can I do and how can I be more inclusive to my team. And as an athlete, you, you have a certain perspective of the questions don't come out of anywhere. Like, <laughs> you know what you're going to be asked. Like, he understands that he's a free agent, so people are going to ask him about that. He understands that the Celtics haven't played to expectations. People are going to ask you about that. You're not blindsided. You understand what's coming. You can articulate whatever answer you want. There are no strings behind your back. It's really not that difficult, to Maria's point. Yeah, I do like that he said that he talked to Brad Stevens. They had a good conversation, and he felt huge. a little bit better, right? I thought that, that was a huge comment that Kyrie made. But when it solves it but, all. But let's, let's uh -huh. look. Uncle Drew is business. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, and he loved having a great movie yeah. that I went to see with my daughters, and I loved it, too. Sure. But that comes with the game. Yeah. The irony of him having this conversation whilst wearing the hat was not lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's it the one thing lost. I can say. Not lost on, on that. <laughs>